Hello, and welcome to this week's screencast. My name is Spencer, also known as Island Dog. And this week I wanted to give a screencast um, to accompany the, the guided tour I did for Icon Packager 4, which was recently released. Um, the examples I'm going to show today, um, I'm using Icon Packager 4 on Vista. Uh, the XP version is pretty much identical except for the uh, Vista specific features such as live folders. But the first thing you're going to notice about Icon Packager 4 is the new user interfa interface. Uh, if you're familiar with window blinds, it's uh, very similar to that. In the look and feel uh, category we have here, uh, here's where you can browse through all your installed Icon packages. Uh, it comes with uh, several really great packages already, but you can go to windcustomize.com and, and there's hundreds if not thousands available for download. And Icon Packager, basically what it does is it changes nearly all of your Windows icons on either XP or Vista all at once using Icon Packages. You can see here in the preview just an example of, of one Icon Package, all the, the icons that you can change. I mean, just pretty much everything. And to change the package, it's pretty much as simple as selecting the one you want and just hitting apply, and all your system icons will change. Now, one of the really cool features I like about Icon Packager is now you can change the colors of the Icon Package. Um, as I've said in various other things like window blinds, if you don't like the, the certain style you're using, whether it's a visual style or icons, well, you can use tools like this to easily change it to match, you know, whatever. Is here I got one icon package and just real quick we'll just uh, just adjust the sliders a little bit and you can see it changes you know uh, pretty much to whatever color you want you know some color more than better than others but you know you just play with it you can also change the brightness of it maybe we can just reset it and get back to where we want but if you want something a little more dramatic there's also uh, filters here so let's try the twirl now look at that really cool effect and there's a couple different ones you can choose from you know they'll look different on each package but it's something to play with and try out now for Vista users uh, the live folders uh, something we've talked about before but Icon Packager 4 will allow you to assign uh, individual live folders uh, independent of the icon package you're using. So if you're using an icon package that doesn't have um, a specified live folders icons, you can use another set from another uh, icon pack. If you have an icon pack that you uh, have downloaded or you, you like, you can also customize it to your liking too. Um, in the icons and cursor section, you can just click the various uh, categories here to see the icons in that specified location. And if you want to change this icon, just click change this icon. And then you can change it to, you can pretty much mix and match other uh, icon sets. So we'll just choose one here. And you can pretty much customize your package the way you want. And it's easy to go default right back, no big deal. And there's also a package builder included, which pretty much uh, you can drag and drop your icons in here and create your own Windows pa uh, icon package that you can distribute or just use for yourself. Another feature for Vista users is the ability to upscale icons uh, to the Vista size. Um, that's good because there's a lot of icon packages already out there that were made for XP and for whatever reasons uh, the artists aren't updating them. Uh, so the icons before might not have worked correctly. So here, Icon Packager will automatically upscale the icons to a 256 by 256. So you can pretty much use any other icon packages that were made uh, previous to Vista with Vista now. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now one of my personal favorite features of Icon Packager is the uh, shell integration. So if you have a file, like I just have my simple little uh, text file here, but it's, it's a special document so I want to put a, a different icon on it, icon on it so I can uh, uh, just easily find it better, sort it, and just you know make it special. So we'll just right click it and select change icon. 
and we can also have the option to just change it for this I this uh, file only which is what I want to do and then change icon again and you can use your own icon you make you can just drag and drop another one or choose from the installed icon packages so we'll find an icon that's a little bit better suited for world domination file and hit OK and apply and we have it and that only applies to that file only or you can change the whole uh, entire uh, file type so that's just another good way to uh, personalize uh, the icons in uh, Windows. You can visit the URL shown on your screen for more information and downloads for icons.